My name is Florian Kretz. I uh, work as a researcher for the University of Heidelberg. Uh, I'm the research coordinator for the International Vision Correction Research Center Network together with the University of Heidelberg and uh, the major uh, cataract and refractive centers in Germany. And uh, as a clinical practitioner, I work in a private hospital setup in the Eye Clinic Ahaus Rasfeld Rhein in Northwest Germany. Uh, in my clinical part, we basically deal with every cases from refractive uh, to routine cataract cases, but also retinal surgery and glaucoma surgery. And I'm specialized for complicated cases and presbyopia correction and cataract patients. My most challenging case was a little boy. He was six years old, the same age as my daughter, and he had a congenital cataract. He had a refraction of plus eight on that eye, and he had uh, posters in here of the iris antilles. And he was actually sent away by two other clinics, and then the parents came, came to us to counsel for possible cataract surgery. And it was a very difficult surgery because children in general anesthesia, they turn their eye globe up, so there's hardly any space in the anterior segment of the eye. The IOL selection was very difficult because it's a hyperopic child. Um, if I use iris retractors, I could damage the eye and the pupil won't get round. So we actually choose a IC8 lens with a, a small aperture lens. So even if the pupil stays wider, he won't have any blur sensation later. We targeted him slightly hyperopic. Uh, I had to use some iris hooks to open up the iris, but just very softly. And I needed to use a, a micro forceps to actually create the axis through the different side posts because there was hardly any space. But at the end it went very well and uh, so far the boy sees very well right now and I think without having those instruments available uh, it would not have been possible. I think the instrument is always depending on the case you have. Uh, there are certain instruments that you don't use a lot. So I prefer to have those instruments available as single use. Uh, because then I don't really have to worry about re-sterilization or anything. Uh, other instruments that I really use in my routine cases, uh, I want them to be precise. They need to have a certain stability so they don't break during the re-sterilization process. Uh, sometimes you need to quickly switch an instrument and it's always easier just having to switch an instrument head than having to switch um, the whole instrument. Many doctors, they have different ideas, they also have different approaches and they use different instruments. And the only possibility to like, keep up and uh, to always having the best available for your patients is to keep that dialogue with others open. And that's why I believe that a campaign like this is really helping that you can always stay in the top branch in your surgery and you don't fall behind.